This week, I'm heading to country Victoria to take on my brother, Stu. Whoa! <laughs> silence, mate, silence. Don't lose him. We are kicking off at Eildon in search of trout. There you go, beautiful silver fish, look at that. Well done. Look at that. And then chasing King George Whiting in Western Port Bay. This is what we came for, and it's a whiting. I'm on, I'm on the board. I got three. Ah, oh, man. Brother versus brother to catch dinner. All those years of catch and release, let him go, do the right thing. No, we're going to smoke him and have him smoke for dinner. Smoking him and eating him. Fishing is my life. It's in my DNA. From above the water and below the surface. It's who I am. Oh, yeah. Join me as I travel the world in search of the most insane fishing experiences on the planet. It's not good! Oh, oh. Croc, out of nowhere comes in, smashes my barra. Oh, yeah! You're in for it now, buddy. Oh, yeah! Look at the size of it. And the boat, Alex, and start to the boat. I'm Al McGlushen, and this is Fishing With Boat. I've fished all my life, and probably one of the biggest things for me is still doing it with my family. You know, I got my boys, I fish with them all the time, but going back and fishing with my brother now and again it brings you back to those roots. You know, it's just one of those things. I've always loved doing it. I've done it since I was born. Getting back there and going and doing a bit of the old school fishing, I love it. So this week, I'm heading to Lake Ildum with my brother, Stu. But before I got to catch up with Stu at the farm, I had one job to do, and that was to collect my new mercury. Well, it's not mine. It's a borrowed boat that I was going to go and give it a test run. So is this my new boat? Yeah, it is for this weekend, mate. It's just had a brand new Mercury on the back. I haven't even used it yet. The funny thing is, I thought it was a boat to pick up from Mercury. Oh, no. It's Michael's boat, and he's never used it. Brand new is in, like, never used brand new? Never used, mate, and you're taking it from me. I haven't, it hasn't even seen water for me yet. <sighs> yep. It's all right, mate. Trust me, I've never done anything to a boat. Don't you worry about it. It's brand new, and he's given it to me. That's not a good thing for Michael, but it's a good thing for me. All right, time to catch a cod and a trout. Let's go. Hey, Al. Hey, you might, you might need the bunk. So these days, my brother Stu, he's done a sea change, or should I say a tree change? He's gone bush. Now, I live in New South Wales, because I'm closer to the bigger fish there. He lives in country Victoria, so we don't get to fish as much as we used to. So when we do, it's game on. Hey, on, Al. What's happening, Al? Trip down? Yeah, pretty crazy. Nice. Time to fish. Well, we've got a few things to do. Got a couple of farm jobs for you first, and then um, straight into the fishing. Like what? Oh, we've got to feed the pigs and do a few other things. There's some farm chores, and then, um, yeah, maybe in the next couple of days we'll get our fishing. I came to fish. Yeah, that's all right. Well, right, we'll, we'll, we'll get you dirty first before we get you smelling a fish. It's not even fair. All right, all right we'll drive up to the house and we'll make a start. Rightio. I'll see you up the house. So finally, I get to the farm, meet up with Stu and Rach. What's the first thing I have to do? Chores. No fishing, chores. I've got to feed the pigs. Life on the farm. Here we go. I brought it myself. Pig. Feed right. the pigs. So I've got this grand plan. I've got the new boat. We're going to Lake Eildon because it's got great trout fishing. Stu, he's got other plans. He wants to go and chase whiting. And you know what? This trip's not about catching trout and letting them go. This trip is about catching the trout and eating them. This one, this is a kill and grill trip. <laughs> Holy cow. This is why we need to go whiting fish, gal. They don't eat trout heads like that. <laughs> Everyone loves the whiting. It's only whiting. So when it comes to fishing, it always ends up a challenge. You can't not. That's just the Aussie way. So we're going to hit our favourite fishing spots. And whoever ends up with the least fish has to finish the farm chores which includes giving Barney the bull a sponge bath. How come is it every time we get a challenge, there's a bull involved? Doesn't matter where I am. Come back. I go up with Curtis. It ends up with a bull. <laughs> I go to Rockhampton. I end up on a bull. 
I'm not tough enough for a bull. The only thing I like about bulls is eating them. So it's an early start. We're driving through the mist. We break out in Lake Ildum. Blue skies, absolutely beautiful. You know what? That's a problem. You don't want beautiful skies, sunny weather, magic conditions for trout. They're old pommy fish. They like cold, wet, miserable, gray. So straight away, we knew we were up against it. I don't want a nice day, mate. I want my dinner. Yeah, well, we'll see how we go. Trust me, I'm a professional. You watch, I will catch the first trout, the second trout, the third trout. Well, just catch one to start off with, Al. So the technique we use to catch these trout is to troll right in tight against the trees. I'm talking you're getting snagged, because if you're not getting snagged, you're not catching fish. So we've got a couple of laser pros out the back, those little 45s. We're not using downriggers, we're not using cowbells and all those fancy stuff. We're just going very basic, trolling right in tight against the trees. We're getting snags, but we're gonna catch fish. Stu, when you said, you know, you gotta make sure you're in the snags and stuff. Well, you sure are. We put in a hard morning, you know, we're trolling and trolling and trolling and it's getting monotonous when finally, got him on. Stu, are you looking at this? Look at him, he's tailing on the top, you see it? He's a good couple of pounds. So I've got him, fight him towards the bait. Oh! <laughs> silence, mate, silence. Don't lose him. Start talking him up. First fish, you're on the guru. What are you doing, Stu? Because you know what? Brotherly love, it's highly competitive. And what happens? Falls off, right beside the bait. Just got off. <laughs> if I keep my mouth shut and just land the damn fish, we'd have trout for dinner, but we don't. Catch and release, impromptu. That's still one to me. No, it's not. Well, you could have netted him. I wonder you're not catching any fish out, you can't cast. So Stu's giving it to me. We're working this area, miss another fish, and then got him on. I was just putting the hook on the other one, Stu. <sighs> Coming up. I was seriously nervous. Am I gonna get this fish to the boat? Don't drop this one. Oh man, if I don't, I am never going to hear the end of it. Don't drop this one. Oh, man. That's a bloody good fish, Stu. Do you see the jumps on it? I was seriously nervous. Am I going to get this fish to the boat? If I don't, I am never going to hear the end of it. Oh, pretty fish. Oh, still jumping. So we get the fish to the boat. This time, I'm demanding that net. Get it out. Get it ready. Trout's mine. Trout is mine. First trout on the boat. Hell one, stew zero. There you go, beautiful silver fish, look at that. Well done. Look at that. Healthy too. All those years of catch and release. Let him go, do the right thing. No, we're gonna smoke him and have him. Smoking him and eating him. How many fish have I caught now, Stu? It's only one. Only one. I'm waiting for something bigger. We spent the rest of the morning trolling the banks and didn't get a single bite. So when the fishing's hard, what do you do? You pull up, meet up with everyone else. Everyone else is having lunch on the bank. We're joining them for a few Samba snags and a coffee. I need a coffee. How good's that? Out in the lake, I catch the biggest trout, the only trout. That was and lucky. Now... There's no luck, mate. It's all skill. And now you've organised lunch for me. Yep. Just all in the service, Al. Venison sausages, mate. Venison. Yep. All right, give me some bread. Move over. Hey. Take care of your family. Out of the way. Ferrell's move. Time for a sausage. How's How the fishing going, Al? 
Right, it's funny you should ask. Average. Unreal, because guess who has caught the biggest, the most, the variety, the whole lot? The only. The only, doesn't matter. So with the Samba snag sorted, coffee, we're ready to go. Round two, back on the lake. And it just went downhill. These fish were shot down. It was beautiful, sunny, magic day on the water. Absolutely terrible fishing. What do I get when I get the most fish? Well, you've got to get more than one. You can't win a competition with one fish. You need a couple. Prove yourself. One that counts is what I mean. I haven't even had a bite. After 10 or 11 hours of trialling for trout, like I predicted, you know, we only caught the one fish. I was surprised we caught one fish. Beautiful weather, beautiful scenery. But finally, I convinced Alistair, get the boat on the back, start heading south, straight down to Western Port Bay. So the next morning, we swap the boats over and head straight to Western Port Bay, which is shallow with lots of current, but it's famous for its gummy sharks and King George whiting. Stu's pretty confident we'll be catching our dinner, so we load up the Yeti and hit the water. Western Port Bay is all about the tide, so we want to get down there for the last hour of the run out tide, and we're going to chase the gummy sharks. Can't believe we've gone from trout to gummies. Well, I can. We should have started on gummies and whiting and not done the trout. Our gummy sharks are a little bit hit and miss. Hopefully we'll get one. We only ever get one or two or, or nothing. Hey, Stu, a little bit different from trout. Yep. Look at that. It's almost the same size as my trout. Proper fish, Al. You know the funny part, and it's probably worth mentioning, that I'm winning. I got a trout. You that can mean, catch a trout. If you caught a trout, that means you're losing, Al. I mean, Alistair's yapping on about this one trout he, one trout he caught. You know, I'm waiting to get onto the whiting, you know, and basically leave him for dead. You know, you're gonna see, you're gonna see the skill come out once we start whiting fishing. So I'm still one up, or I've, I've won round one, so this is round two. And then what's round three, whiting? Yep. All right, so round one to me, trout master. Stu took us to his secret gummy spot, the one that no one knows about. I'll tell you why it's a secret, because there's no gummies there. We caught nothing. We didn't even get a bite. This is going to be like Eildon all over again. Except I caught a fish in Eildon. So with the tide slowing down, the gummies are out. Well, they're not even close. We haven't even seen one yet. It's time to go and get the whiting. And for the whiting, you fish shallow, because what they're doing is they're getting back up on the banks with that rising tide. As soon as the tide starts coming in, they're straight up on it. This is fight and whiting country, I'm telling you. Fight and whiting. 2.3 metres of water, nice and shallow. Bloody hell. For years, I've fished with Al. I know he can catch marlin. I know he can catch broadbill swordfish. But when it comes to whiting, He's a bit too uncoordinated, so really, this is where I'm going to shine. This is where I'm going to start catching fish. And Alistair, maybe he'll catch one, but really, he's going to be left for dead. So, we're anchored up, everything's ready to go. I'm a bit nervous, because I've got to try and beat my brother. And what happens? I forgot, radio interview. I've got to answer this call. You know, when my old man went fishing, they all hung him up off the clothesline. That's where Murray Cot ended up, yet now, all the guys go to extreme levels. Yeah. I'm talking, doing the interview, Stu hooks up. This is not the way I want to start this day. <laughs> Cranks it up, the rod's loaded up. Loser! And what's he pull up? A toadfish. That is minus one. Good work, Stu. That's not a whiting bar, that one. You can't even swim away. If you're a fish, Al, that would be you. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I'm getting it down, I'm getting it down. Hang on, the shoe on your left, 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 left. Oh, that was half mine. Oh, I missed him. Whiting. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, yeah, baby. Bring it's it down. important to get these fish on ice as quickly as possible. Not only does the ice keep them fresh for later, but it also puts them to sleep so they don't suffer. One love. Damn it, damn it. Well, two love because I got that toad. <laughs> yeah, you can count your toad, mate. This is what we go for! And it's a whiting! Coming up, it's a whiting free-for-all. That's a good whiting. And I take the lead. I'm the fighting whiting master.
To say the fishing has been tough is an understatement. I've won round one with my one trout. Round two, zeros all round. So now it's all coming down to round three, and that's whiting, and Stu's the gun at whiting. I've got my lunch cut out for me to beat this boy, I tell ya. Hey, instead of fishing, do you want to just um, do bait for me? Shut so up. you can just do the bait and pass it to me because I'm catching the fish. It's not even gonna comment. It's just not even worthy of a comment. When it comes to whiting, simple is best. Little size four, shiner, VMC hook. 10 pound suffix fluorocarbon, up to a swivel, and then a little teardrop sinker. It's got to be all light gear because you're only fishing a couple of metres of water and you cast to the sand patches around you. So don't fish in the weed. If you fish in the weed, you get the crap fish. So what you do is you cast your lines out around you. As the whiting are coming up on those flats, they're looking for a feed and they find your stuff. If it's in the weed, they're not going to see it. Better one? Trevally. Whiting. Oh, yep. Whiting. It's a whiting. Oh. What? Too large. Be doing work on the farm tonight, Al. All of a sudden, it's absolute chaos. We're hooking fish left, right, and center. This is what we came for, and it's a whiting. I'm on. I'm on the board. Look at that. No, you're not. I got three. Oh, man, I got one. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a better one. How quick is this action? That's a good whiting. But you know what? I'm catching a few more than Stu. No, I'm not done yet. Nothing. No comment. Oh, yep. Oh. Keep quiet. Oh, it's totally rough. That's worth two points. And Stu starts to get a little bit nervous. He starts changing the rules. Because he knows I'm winning. This is a King George Whiting winner. Who's winning, Stu? Me, I think. No, thank you. Yeah, baby. Bearing in mind anything that's caught on my boat is caught by me. I'm the fighting Whiting master. So I'm looking pretty good, you know? I'm ahead, I'm probably a couple of fish up by this stage. Who's scrubbing Barney now? You know, that's a serious motivation, I've got to say, for me, Stu. Not to be anywhere near a bull. Uh, maybe I got a bit confident. Hooked up, yep, this is a good one. Got him on. On again. Yeah, baby. No, that's definitely not a whiting. Not a whiting, Al. Flathead. That's not a good one. That's bycatch. Then it's a salmon. Then it's a flathead. Jeez. Not what I was looking for. All of a sudden, Stu starts catching more whiting. Welcome aboard. And this moment of glory where I'm in the lead, just shoved aside. Beautiful. I think I'm one in the lead, Al. Oh, what a fish leader. to be in the lead with. Now, when it comes to whiting fishing, you only get a short bite period. Once it stops, game over. You're finished. You might as well go home. Oh, yep, he's on again. Oh, Ooh. this is better than trout fishing. So I need to hurry up if I want any chance of catching up to Stu. Oh, yeah. God, they fight so good. Oh. Except <laughs> <laughs> uh, the flathead do fight well here, Al. Oh, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. What a loser. Bloody flathead. Coming up, I try and catch up to Stu. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a better one. Okay. And end up landing the biggest fish of the day. Should have been caught by me. Bloody beautiful. Oh, it's a flat styled whiting. Laddie. This is the whiting that got run over. I noticed Alistair was catching toadfish and flathead and, and various other things, which you know we really weren't after. 
Um, you know, that's, it's just a bit of a skill to be able to, to target the target fish, which is a whiting, and compared to all the other fish. I mean, I wasn't catching them, I didn't want to catch them. So, I mean, it shows some level of skill that you can, you can pull the smallest fish out of the school, but I was, trying to, I was trying to pull the biggest fish out of the school. It's the end of the tide and the fish have stopped biting, but I managed to get one last hook up. It won't get me over the line, but hopefully I can finish on a high. Oh, it could be salmon-ish. Beer whiting, beer whiting, beer whiting, beer whiting! Good one too, eh? Oh, that's a better fish. Don't flick him in the boat. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a better one. Okay. I may not have caught the most fish, but at least I caught the biggest. That is a beautiful that fish. That is a very nice fish. Very nice fish, Should have been Stu. caught Very by... nice. Should have been caught by me. Bloody beautiful. You know, at the end of the day, I didn't win. I never win against you with whiting because that's his specialty. But how good is it to go fishing with your brother, your dad, your mum, your grandpa, your grandma, and catch a feeder fish? And while I contributed and didn't quite get the majority share, the best part is we're going to take them home and cook them up for lunch. And just like the old days, Stu wouldn't let me clean a single fish. You know, the best part is, during the day, Stu only mentioned bulls and pigs and farm chores once or twice, but he forgot about it once the whiting were going. So you know what? I'm going to sweep it under the carpet. He's going to forget about this challenge. I'm home and hose scot-free. Oh, yeah, bring right it on. Al, here it is. Fresh, crumbed whiting. I even picked out your big fish, which I think was the only one you got. So look at that. Dig in. Oh, hang on. Don't you have a job to do first? Depends what it is. Remember? No. If you caught more whiting than me, you wouldn't have to do a job on the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Called the biggest? So you got to go down and wash some of the farm equipment, being Barney the bull. So come on, off you go before the, um, before the whiting Why gets cold. It always come down to bulls. Can I eat my food first? No, no. You got to go and do the bull first. So just grab the bucket and the um, sponge and give him a good wash. Barney! <laughs> want to scrub? You know you want to scrub. Is that a good thing when he does that? Oh, and Al, don't forget the undercarriage. This wasn't in my contract. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Never again am I doing anything with bulls. Barney, come on, seriously. I need to go closer, Barney. I need to get under. Whoa.